Hello, welcome to PC Jack. Today's the day we finally say farewell to RGB, and hello to these. Let's see just how good these fans actually are. So, with the launch of Noctua's NHU-12A Chromax Black, they have also finally launched the highly demanded Chromax Black version of their best performing 120mm fan, the NFA 12x25. While my review of the NHU-12A focused more exclusively on the cooler itself, in today's video I'm going to be looking specifically at the performance of the NFA 12 on its own and how it can be used in different applications. In this instance, how this fan performs on a 240mm radiator. Using my personal system which already had two Corsair ML Pro 120s installed, I'll be comparing these directly to the Noctua NFA-12s in order to gauge the sort of performance difference you can see between two high-performing fans, and see how they both compare when it comes to temperatures and noise levels. So, based on what we already know about the original NFA-12, this is a 120mm PWM fan which has a maximum rated speed of 2000 RPM and a minimum speed of 450 RPM, and with its liquid crystal polymer design, allows it to exceed in low noise pressure optimized settings. When you get the NFA 12x25 Chromax Black, you also get these Chromax Swap Anti-Vibration Pads in a variety of colours to suit your build along with a 30cm NAEC1 extension cable. And it should come as no surprise that these fans come with absolutely zero RGB. So Rainbow Vomit fans, be warned. Now even though I know how well these fans perform when paired with a CPU air cooler, I want to see how they perform in a different scenario. Also, because some of you may be considering getting these fans for your radiator as well and would like to see what sort of performance difference you can see between two high performing fans. Particularly because they're static pressure optimised performance. For today's testing, we'll be using the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 AIO paired with the Ryzen 9 3900 XT, which will be run in a stock config, but we'll be doing a multi-core stress test which should give us a roughly 140 watt flow to dissipate. It's worth noting, all of this testing has taken place inside a completed system in which it'll be inside the Fractal Design Mesh 5C with the side panel on and fans separate from the radiator but these conditions remain the same on both platforms of Corsair and Noctua fans when we're testing the AIO's performance. Which should allow us to run a fair comparison between the two while keeping the environment exactly the same. Additionally, by no means am I a professional when it comes to measuring the exact airflow performance of these fans, but from today's testing it should give you a general idea if you're a user looking to do the exact same thing yourself. So to begin, let's take a look at the NFA 12 on its own and how it performs at 50% fan speed and 100% fan speed. Starting with 50% fan speed, the Ryzen 9 3900 XT stays pretty cool while averaging at 69.6C and a maximum of 72C, which is a pretty acceptable result considering 140 watt load is being dissipated, and a minimum level of noise at 44.1 decibels. Stepping up to 100% fan speed, we see a fairly minimal performance improvement with an average of 68.6C and a maximum of 67.1C, but noise levels do begin to suffer at 47.4 decibels. So a little loud at maximum speed, but as you can see, very little need to run the fans at this speed as the temperatures don't change drastically and even running at half the speed provided acceptable temperatures and noise levels. Now, while these results are great on their own, it's useful to have something comparative to look at and compare the performance against a different brand, so let's see how Noctua's NFA-12s compare directly to Corsair's ML120 Pros. To keep things even, I've tested at both 50% and 100% fan speed of the Corsair ML Pro, which is 800 and 1600 RPM respectively, which for the NFA-12 is about 35% and 75% in order to fully match the two fans. Now it's worth noting before we begin that Corsair's ML Pro series of fans are highly regarded for their static pressure optimised performance, so it should be a pretty close match between this and Noctua's NFA-12. Even though Noctua comes out ahead in all categories, Corsair isn't very far behind with a very slim margin of victory. But where Noctua's NFA-12 succeed is in noise levels when compared to the Corsair's ML Pros. While the ML Pros maxed out produce a noise level of 46.6 decibels, the NFA-12's matching Corsair's full speed of 1600 RPM only hit 43.5 decibels. However, we can see that while Noctua exceeds in lower noise levels at higher RPMs compared to Corsair, there is an outlier when it comes to the noise level at 800 RPM on the NFA-12 which is higher than the ML Pro. 
It's worth noting that these measurements do include total system noise levels, so this is fairly representative of both the fans' maximum rated noise levels in a combined environment, but minimums may be less accurate, but they should still provide a rough idea. Swell performance is pretty close when it comes to temperatures between the two fans. Where Noctua exceeds in is lower noise levels at higher RPMs compared to Corsair's ML Pros, which is what we've come to expect from Noctua after all this time. But the advantage is going to be mostly dependent on what you're looking for in a case fan. Most notably is whether you're interested in an RGB. Me personally, I can take it or leave it when it comes to RGB, so I'm not too fussed, but you might be interested in uh, personalising your system a bit more with lighting, and one of the easiest ways to do that is with RGB fans. That's obviously going to be subjective, but if you're focused on pure performance alone and a sleek blackout design, in my opinion, the NFA12 Chromax Black is going to be the best option on the market. I'm really impressed with how well these perform outside of an air cooler configuration, and if you take the time to fully optimise your fan curves, you could end up with a completely silent system, as well as having low temperatures at the same time. In conclusion, if you're looking for best-in-class airflow performance, then these are definitely something you should consider. But if you're looking for great performance as well as a blinged out LED design, then you may have to look somewhere else. Overall, I think consumers are going to be really pleased with what Noctua have achieved here with these new design fans. And hopefully, we'll see a repeat of this when they launch their next generation 140mm fan. So, that's it for today's video. Thanks to Noctua for sending out these NFA12 Chromax black fans, but let me know your thoughts on them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.